right, ladies and gentlemen, take two on the Skype audio as uh, we get ourselves ready for game number two. My name is Crisis, and I'm joined once again by Neba. And uh, before I throw to you, Neba, just a good uh, 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 an apology again to everyone that's watching the stream. It's like you wouldn't think that uh. I've got 10 years of casting experience. The number of ham-fisted attempts I've made uh, tonight with, uh, with the overlays and that sort of thing. But never mind. Let's talk about the game that's coming up, Neba. It is going to be sequential gaming versus all stars as long as i am not muted for a second time crisis i do not care what happens from this i'm pretty point sure on you're live <laughs> uh, so i shouldn't say that bad word. uh anyway i'll just hold myself anyway but of course we did we are here for match number two it is going to be oce's number one the darling of the oce rocket league it is of course sequential gaming headed up by soma orion Pinor, and erin in the lineup and they will be taking on newcomers all stars gg and they will be uh groovy great pirate jewels flippy and ack attack is in their lineup so uh look all stars have got their work cut out for them there's no other way to say it sequential with the pickup of uh they picked up orion from jam in the off season and they are looking sh just as strong as last season they did lose a game to the b team it must be said um but still uh they're still very much the number one rated team in the Oceanic region. All Stars, last week they took on another one and where they actually lost that match two games to three. And they come in at ninth on the uh, Oceanic rankings board. So, I mean, it's going to be a tough slog. I mean, I don't want to see a 5 0 in this one, but uh, the chances that SQL go 5 0. If I was a betting man, you know, that's probably something. But. I really hope I'm wrong, and I hope All-Stars come out swinging out of the gate. Um, Groovy Grape is certainly one of the men to what Groovy Grape is one of the men to watch out for on the All-Stars. He's um, he's getting he's getting better, and uh, he's certainly showing it in the uh, in the CGPL. Question is whether or not he can find some synergy with the rest of his team, and uh, whether or not they can get going. But uh, Crisis, what do you think about this one coming up? Well, I was just going to pick up on what you said about Groovy Grape. So he is uh, normally the position that he plays is goalie. And I think that tonight he is going to get a good run of practice against the number one ranked team in Oceania. And not just the number one ranked team in season two, ladies and gentlemen, from the launch of Rocket League, Sequential Gaming have been the undisputed kings. And week on week... We look to find some team that can bloody their nose and take them down a notch. And, uh, and week on week, they just power through. Uh, they tend to go to sleep a little bit in the mid-game. And in a five-game series, Niba, I wonder if that is going to be the chink in the armor that All-Stars are going to be able to take advantage of and pull a win out of the hat as the underdogs. Well, look, we do talk about them a lot, but uh, look, there's only been, I think, maybe one time if that, I don't know, if they've been ranked outside of number one in the Oceanic uh, region. Um, so, and the, and fair enough, they have a, they are consistent in their approach. They are methodical when they take it out, and their aerial skill is probably the best in the country, and not probably it is the best in the country. And with the pickup of Orion, Orion was probably one of the men who was standing at the flag for the rest of the community. Um, they picked him up in the off season um, as Pinor. I'm fairly certain is now their coach. So um, and we're going to get going live into this server very shortly. But um, guys. Tweet at me at Gamestar Neba, um, and we and your prediction with the hashtag CGPLRL. Your prediction. Oh, we've got a couple of them coming through. Tweet at me. Put it in Twitch chat. I'll read them out uh, towards the end of uh, the first match, and we'll see how we go. But crisis, long term ESP. Let's see how it's working. Your long long vision. Let's see how it's going. What is your prediction? Oh. And who is who? Do we have to watch out for? Uh, I mean, I hate to say it because. Um I kind of, I feel as though I'm mates with Flip back from the hashtag enemy territory days, but I think this is going to be a pounding from Sequential Gaming. I mean, I've set up the possibility that Sequential might go to sleep in the mid game and let one sneak through from the boys of uh, the former Lost Lunar team, now All Stars. But goodness yep. me, it is a tall ask for number nine in the region to take on number one and take a game off of them. So I am going to call it 5-0. Uh, 
in favor of sequential gaming. But I'd love to hear what the Twitch chat thinks. Uh, give us your predictions. We've had Bizer from GameStar, who's going to be joining us later on. He's put through a prediction. He's opened the predictions in the Twitch chat 4-1 in favor of sequential gaming. And while we wait for the Twitch chat themselves to start responding, a quick shout-out to the sponsors of the Cyber Gamer Premier League uh, Netgear, Logitech, AK Racing, Turtle Beach, Plantronics uh, for the MVPs, and of course, mwave.com.au doing great work. Putting up, uh, at last count, Niba, I think it was about $18,000 worth of prizes across three game types. So, uh, 6K up for grabs potentially for these players in Rocket League. And I was talking to Cyanide, who is operations manager for Cyber Gamer earlier on, and there's a possibility that there might be an additional sponsor coming on board. And boy, will they not regret it as we head on into ga uh, match number two of the night, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, the boys from Sequential Gaming going up against the All-Stars. And guess what? I've got overlays to do. Yeah, well, you go ahead. So uh, just before we get started, a quick couple of shout-outs here to uh, Nutter Rez on Twitter. He says uh, SQL to go 5 nothing over All-Stars. But he also says, Crisis, reckon we can call an Orion MVP before the games even start? So uh, I don't know. We'll see how Ryan, maybe he could not, maybe he's not even going to turn up. Who knows? Maybe he just uh, it w won't be, uh, maybe he won't have had his wheat picks. This morning, maybe we will see. We do have fair call says SQL three to All Stars two, um, and I've also actually seen a hashtag go the grape um, uh, on the on the. So uh, there you go. So let's just see how they go as we are now live into game number one here. Crisis between sequential v All Stars for the second game five, five game series of the night. Oh, it's going to be a big, a big um, uh, task for the boys on All Stars to get themselves a game, probably to get themselves on the board and clear out the donuts. That'll be their first goal, just to score against the Giants uh, will be a feather in anybody's cap. So we'll see how long it takes. It took five seconds in the previous game, uh, Neba. A little bit longer, but oh, oh my God! Oh, Groovy Grape, we see, I call him the goalie. Yeah, go the Grape. Let us see it go the great. He's got the first goal and all stars. They have put themselves out. I never actually said my prediction, but uh, I'm actually going to say, I think, uh, look, I think, look, this is a great start. I think they could actually take a map, maybe even two, if they actually show up to play here, Crisis. But uh, that is the start. They want to have the grape has another shot. Groovy grape puts it in uh, just in front of goal. Soma bouncing it back out. Aaron following up. Orion in the corner, Soma sitting at halfway, trying to push that ball back into the corner. Here comes Flip, drops it out into that left-hand defensive corner. And now here they come once again on the rotate, that moving around. And, uh, wow. Oh, a defensive error, go. and a touch, a touch. Oh, it was so close, Jules. Oh, just a, an inch to the left, and it would have gone in uh, for the boys and All-Stars. They're one mil in the lead. And Lady Luck might be on their side tonight as well. Uh, if uh, things uh, continue to go this way, the ball sitting in the blue zone, sequential, having to defend again and again as the All-Stars take the game to them, Neba, and keep it in the blue zone. Yes, he does, and he's going to be keeping it in there. There's a really good save by Aaron. Jules tries to get on on that action. Here comes the grape once again. He pushes it out in front. Jules will have to be very careful about coming round. It's him and Orion, but Aaron comes in and breaks it up like a school teacher in the schoolyard will come in and bounce that ball away. So Soma once again has to be very careful. He goes up against Groovy Grape. He has now come to play and there's a really good Little clear by Flip and the deflection there from Groovy Grape pushes it in to the SQL half. They are still going to be very careful about how they go about this right now. Groovy Grape, Jules in the air. Great aerial contention from Aaron. He's going to push it down. And now All Stars have only got one man behind. It's Flip. And he's done a very good job. Oh! The ball! Groovy Grape has bounced it in front and he has got himself a double. Great aerial work. The back flip into the zone and the finish 
2-0 to All-Stars. They have come out swinging. Goodness me. And, uh, you know, we talk about how Sequential sometimes goes to sleep in the mid-game. If they do that in uh, this series and uh, they let Gro uh, Groovy Grape and the boys uh, get the lead in the first game. Whoa, Ryan uh, changes the run of play. Well, I don't want to, I shouldn't maybe call it <laughs> Nemo because, oh, goodness me. The boys are from All Stars, the Davids going up against Goliath, getting themselves in the lead, but now they've got to hang on to it. Yeah, they do. And uh, look, with two minutes to play, that is a lot of Rocket League still to be playing, especially when he gets to SQL. I mean, in the previous match, we saw it. The boys from B Team took it back to Invidious on a two goal swing with 45 seconds. So All Stars have got to be very careful. There's one mistake, and they could be facing down the, uh, the barrel of an SQL comeback. We've seen them do it plenty of times before, Crisis. This could be another time that they do it if All-Stars not careful. Soma pushes it off the off the wall. Great work oh, across the face to Orion. Can't finish it off. And uh, who was that? Uh, that was Jules not being able to push it away. But Groovy Grape from the center pushes it in front. That's a good clear by Aaron and Soma is not done yet. Now working it back, Groovy Grape. He seems to be everywhere at the moment, leading the All-Stars by uh, leading the, uh, from the front, I should say, but uh, with one minute and 15 seconds on the clock, they've still got a lot of work to do here, but they are still looking strong. SQL, though, uh, they are lurking, and that's a shot on goal by Flip! That is three goals to one! That is surely not something they expected. Crisis, look at this. He lines it up, spots the goal, sees it open, and Soma just misses the tail. Uh, the tail flick there, and it is three goals to one. All-Stars coming up big. Massive three goals against... Oh, four goals against Holy Sequential boy. Gaming. This is an absolute dream opening for them. Jules gets a touch and then a pinch off of uh, his opponent. The ball soars through the air and into the top of the net, into the top of the goal there and Sequential Gaming are looking a little bit shell-shocked as yet another shot goes towards, it's just wide though. And the follow through is there, it's sitting up in the air. Three defenders from Sequential right now in their goal face. They don't want to let another one in, Niba. But uh, if All-Stars run a play so far as anything to say for it, the defense is not going to be able to keep them out. Yeah, hashtag go the great, the All-Stars, GG. They are certainly coming out to play here, Crisis. And the question now becomes, for 35 seconds, do SQL just kind of uh, not throw the game, but uh, now just relax a little bit, try and maybe reset for game number two. All-Stars have worked hard for this one, but uh, we all know that uh, if SQL get their eyes in, they are very hard to stop um, when they get going. So perhaps maybe they just need to take a break, just uh, take, a, take a deep breath, reset themselves. But All-Stars, GG. They are certainly feeling, they'll be feeling absolutely uh, ecstatic about this result right now. The time is ticking away. There it is. It's going to be GG's. They're just going to let this one hit the floor, not even worrying about it. There you go. Good round all around. And All Stars have shocked the OCE uh, number one ranked team, taking the first match one, uh, four goals to one. And uh, wow, Crisis, not many people would have picked that coming into this match. Well, in unison, in unison, Soma, Aaron, and Orion uh, put out the GRs, but they will be smarting after that display, that opening round from the All-Stars, 4-1 against the number one ranked team in Oceania, and they are 1-0 up in the series, and that's my prediction out the window already, Niba. Yep, and uh, look, I think many people wouldn't have expected All Stars to be able to take a map off uh, SQL. I all uh, and I, that's the thing. I can't. I don't want to say that SQL uh, lost that map. I want to say that All Stars won that map. They put themselves in the positions. They followed up on shots, and they uh, certainly earned every single goal that they got. And it's not as if SQL didn't throw everything they had at them because they came close um, and just couldn't finish it off. But as we say that, there's a big shot, far shot from Orion, and uh, SQL are now. They are coming back, Crisis. They are going to be putting uh, their foot down once again. Orion with the oh, with the angle play just couldn't get it. And uh, we'll see 
Now, we'll see how this one goes. All-Star flip. Puts it there. Orion follows up. And now he's up in front oh. of goal. And Orion, we've seen him do it many times. The self-assist. Look at this. Bumps it off the wall. Up he goes. And just puts it off the side of the car. That is a op great opening first goal. That is what Sequential would be expecting of themselves. And now they are in front uh, here in match number two. So a question has gone out from Part-Time Soldier about whether the lab maps are going to be playable. No, no, Ruby Grape. He's not interested in playing on any uh, Rocket League lab maps. He is interested in scoring a goal, getting the equalizer. Orion sets it up for him, the deflection, in fact, as well as the shot goes from Groovy Grape deflected into a true cut shot going across the goal face and into the back of the net. That is one also. Part-time soldier, no. The answer is the maps are specified each week in the Rocket League uh, Premier League. The Cyber Game of Premier League. Uh, they are laid out a shot for oh. Ryan with a halo. He keeps the scores one all and dead even. And uh, he's, he seemed a little bit quiet and off, off kilter tonight, uh, Niba, but that was a halo uh, of halos. Yep, so of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't understand by what we mean halo, it is, this, it is a reference to the symbol uh, when you get an epic save. So the two types of saves, obviously the save and the epic save, and the halo is over is over the uh, the uh, epic one so just so you don't get confused we do have a few people who seem to misunderstand that every week so we're not talking about that computer game as sequential look for an opening goal they can't get one flip now working against orion pushes it into that left hand corner in comes groovy great it's sitting in front oh. goal jules will follow up and that is the goal they wanted the two goal swing around here they come jules was there he gets it and then here he comes Flip did fantastically against Orion. That's what he needs to do. And just like that, all stars are back in front. SQL. Wow. Maybe uh, they, maybe they just uh, maybe they didn't have dinner. Maybe they need an energy drink crisis. What are they doing wrong? Or more importantly, I guess what is All Stars doing right? All Stars playing out of their skins right now as they challenge for the ball in the midfield. They've kind of won it, but Orion is there, picks it up on that midfield line, gets it back into the orange zone. Aaron looking to set something up. Oh, they couldn't believe it. All three defenders watch the ball bounce past them, and Soma takes advantage, picks the ball up in the player cam mode, flip with the back flip, not good enough to keep the second goal for Sequential out. They've even the scores with two and a half minutes of play remaining, and... It is not going to be an easy run. Certainly not as easy as uh, game number one, Neba. Yeah, no, it will not oh! be. And flip! Whoa, my God, off the start! Look at this! The ball came in. He just he timed it to perfection. He uh, anticipated the bounce, got in the air. Aaron didn't even see it coming. And that is a goal. My God, Pulse, are you going to have your work cut out for you picking the top five this week? We're only into game number two. And uh, oh, the match number two, I should say. And there is a smorgasbord of goals to be picking from right now in All-Stars. As you said, Crisis playing out of their oh. skins. Jules wanted another one. Couldn't get it in front of goals. And uh, just like that, All-Stars have to be very careful. Because as we saw, SQL will be very quick to come back and uh, get uh, these rebound goals. Groovy Grape trying to play up there. Aaron in the right position at the right time. Good aerial contention from Jules. Pushes it across the right-hand face of goal, and in comes, uh, who was it? That was Orion. Oh, across the face of goal. Groovy Grape will be the man to clear it out. And with a minute and 45, 55 to go, All-Stars still leading. Have to be careful. Oh, my God, Groovy Grape. But flip. And the follow-up from Flip. Look at that solo effort. And then Flip just waited. He believed. And the follow-up finishes an excellent crisis. It is two goals advantage with a minute and 45. All stars are certainly showing that, like their namesake, they are well. They are in this in this in this series.
They have absolutely rocked sequential gaming in game number one and game number two. Don't want to call it too early because game number two still has a minute and a half to play and sequential are some of the have some of the best goal scorers in the business uh, on their team. But there it is. It's cleared out of the orange zone and now the attack straight away. Groovy, you Groovy, great. Groovy, Groovy. And Groovy again. Is that a hat trick? No. Oh, it's Hashtag just two goals as he puts it in between the post and Aaron and the deflection of the defender seals the deal and they are 5-2 in the lead. I expected a 5-0 series victory for Sequential and here we are in game number two with all stars blowing out the score. 5-2 in the lead and that's an, a soft attempt there from Soma. It's well wide. And picked up again by Groovy Grape with an incredible solo performance tonight. Combining though with oh, his team wow. of course, but setting things up Neba over and over again. A minute to go to score three goals for Sequential. If any team can do it, they're the ones. Yes they are and do not count them out yet. They are certainly going to be putting uh, essentially their reputations and their skill on the line right now. But Groovy Grape has been the man to kind of kill their dreams. He's been everywhere. Flip on the other side and Jules the silent protector of the goals. He's actually taking up goalkeeping duties um, for the team. Generally, you see him back in the defense, but 30 seconds, there is the marker. And uh, with three goals, you would think this should be game number two to All-Stars. Groovy, great. I told you he's the man to watch out for in this series, and he certainly hasn't let me down. Jules, oh. back. what a great save by Jules. Pushes it off towards the right-hand crossbar, and uh, that is going to drop right down and now with 10 seconds to go that is going to be the second game sql are not going to be able to come back from this all stars are one game away from taking a series off of sequential gaming five again five rounds sorry five to two in that second game i would just like to point out crisis that wow all stars have scored Three goals for every one that Sequential have scored in these two games so far. Nine goals play three over two games. And uh, All-Stars are one game away from taking the series. Guys, it is very important, though, that you do understand that even if we get to three games, we will be playing all five matches, just so you understand that. So All-Stars are one game away from GG Crisis, would you have ever picked All-Stars to take out SQL? Well, mate, I said it earlier on. I've called a 5-0 victory. Well, the best that the boys from Sequential can do is the reverse sweep here and take it away 3-2. But All-Stars are playing the game of their lives. They're into map three. They have a 2-0 uh, advantage in the series. And, you know, just that last move of the game uh, just illustrated to me uh, Neba, just how well the All-Stars are playing. You'd think with a 5-2 lead and 15 seconds to go, you might be inclined to just let one goal through. But no, Jules flew back and made sure he got a deflection and kept the momentum in favor of the All-Stars. That said, Sequential have come out firing. They've had a number of shots on goal already. The ball in the orange zone. Finally, Flip gets the clear out. It's in the midfield. And this is when BMT comes through, Neba. And does All-Stars have what it takes to put the boot in and take the series? Look, I said they had it, and I think they had enough in them to get two goals. And uh, look, I still believe that they have enough to go even further. I still thought SQL would win the series, but I also said I'd love to be, um, I'd love to be shown up here. And certainly Groovy Grape is making, uh, making a case here to move the All-Stars up in the power rankings come next week. Jules with a great save. They have to be careful because that ball is sitting in front of that right-hand crossbar. They get it away, but Orion goes straight into the front bumper of Orion. SQL need to be very careful here. That's a very good play by Aaron actually clicking it back. Oh. And Soma! No, was that Soma? No, it was Orion. Orion, that is why they picked him up. That is why Sequential want, uh, wanted Orion. Look at that. He got the ball from the side and oh. off the undercarriage of his car. He has just absolutely given his side the first goal. But we saw this in the last match as well, Crisis. They've got to keep this kind of play going. I mean, Orion passed the ball back to, to Soma and he had a moment to see the trajectory of the ball with Soma's touches the ball, touches the crossbar. And now oh, the reply, the rebound. 
Soma picks it up and it is 2-0. Orion with an incredible play just before and then setting the ball up for Soma uh, to score goal number two. The Donut still on the board in game number three for the All-Stars. Three and a half minutes to play and Sequential have finally woken up as they take yet another touch. Soma gets a good touch through. It's stopped in the midfield there, sitting up in the air. Jules get a, gets a good touch on it, but it's cleared away and smartly into the orange zone. Another shot. This time it goes wide though, Niba. Yeah, it does. And All-Stars GG are on the, on the back foot. Se sequential now showing us the action of the team that we know they are. They have got to be careful because Groovy Grape is going to drop that ball just a bit over the front of the blue goal. So uh, the boys from All-Stars have to be a little careful now because uh, SQL, if they allow SQL to find their groove, that could mean a lot come the momentum in the next couple of games, Crisis. They can't allow cry uh, the boys from Sequential to get anything! Oh! oh my god! The ball just missing in front of goals. They could not get it. They wanted the shot, but it will be go a lacking for them. Flip will then come in. Good aerial from him. Puts it off to the right-hand side of that ball. Oh, Jules missing a long-range aerial attempt. That is an open goal. And Orion oh, puts the shot up, but Flip, very, very good there. Great defense from him. Jules, once again, pushing that ball forward. Groovy Grape now rotates back, trying to get the ball. Great little tail flick off the corner, but Soma reacts fast. Aaron comes in. The one-two is the third from Orion there. No, it's not. He was just sitting back watching that ball. Two minutes to go on the clock here, Crisis. Sequential looking a bit more... Um... Let's just say he's looking a bit more, uh, they're looking a bit more comfortable in this match now that they're in front and not playing from behind. Yeah, that's right. And on the contrary, uh, all stars looking just a little bit ra rattled. Maybe the nerves have got to them as they face the prospect of winning another game of sequential and thus the series. Uh, a halo comes through from Groovy Grapes. The pattern of play completely changed right now. Three defenders are back from, for the All-Stars. Finally, they get the ball out and uh, look to create some attacking opportunities. All three of them up now, but a bit of argy-bargy in the midfield as they interrupt each other. They get themselves at all sorts, and Orion is going to get a long-range goal there, picking up uh, the pieces of that miscommunication uh, between the boys and the All-Stars. And he scores the goal, sight unseen, uh, from long range with a single touch there. One minute and nine remaining, and they are 3-0 uh, in the lead right now of Sequential Gaming. Yeah, Orion basically picking up the scraps. All-Stars looked a bit desperate there to try and get that ball in, but unfortunately they just couldn't capitalize. They knew that they had to score soon, and unfortunately for them, uh, Orion was just waiting there, and he is very sharp. You cannot allow him to have those open long-range shots because he will kill you every time. Groovy Grape, once again, though, getting in the air and are doing very well for his team. But here comes Soma. The aerial tap follow-up from Aaron. Here's Orion. There he is in the back, and that's the oh, slot so through. Sequential have struck back, and they have struck back hard. They have said enough of this. They probably have been listening to our stats there from Soma to, Ar to Aaron on to finalize on Orion. If I could speak correctly, that would probably help with the shout casting business crisis. Sequential, they have, uh, looks like they finally showed up here. Two games late, but uh, look, they are not out of this one yet. And uh, look, All-Stars now have to kind of reset coming into this next one. They cannot allow this performance and now as we go oh. five nothing as Aaron gets a fantastic aerial we cannot allow they cannot allow this one to uh, to to get the better of them because they are still looking strong just sequential now cert certainly starting to show a bit more prowess and I I just I feel almost as though I'm doing a disservice to sequential gaming uh, they've come back into this game and they are 5-0 in the lead and we're at any other team We'd have been getting up in arms over exactly how incredible that was. It's a massive lead, but it's kind of been, oh, this is par for the course for Sequential. This is the Sequential we know. Pulse uh, from Jam Gaming reckons we're heading for a 3-2 reverse sweep from Sequential Gaming. And that is the momentum very, very uh, definitely stopped. 
And Sequential now have an opportunity, uh, Niba, to get themselves back into this match. They've clawed one back. It's 2-1 in the series, and they've got two games to go to secure a victory. Yep, and uh, look, I think you've said it correctly, which is that it, it all credit to Sequential there. They deserve that match win, and they went 5 nothing, which is incredible. But I think we mentioned it before that the expectation that Sequential have, not only from the public of their eyes, but they will have it themselves, is that is the kind of scoreline they should be getting every game against All-Stars, who are arguably one of the lower-ranked teams in the pro leagues at the moment. Um, so the fact that, I, like I said, Groovy Grape, I do know that he has been trying to improve quite a bit coming into this season because he does want to be at that land and uh, he wants to show that he is one of the best players in the country. So he's certainly showing it today, um, Crisis, and I think, um, I don't know, they've just got to be very careful. Pulse with a 3-2 turnaround, I think that possibly could be something we're going to be looking at here, but All-Stars, they certainly, uh, look, they're not going to try, they're going to try and not let it get to their heads. As Groovy Great puts it up in front of goal, but that's a great save by Orion. Yeah, they're on attack though. Good little touch there. Jules with the follow through. The halo from Orion keeping the ball out. It's still sitting high up in the blue zone. It's not quite cleared out. Flip with a shot and a beautiful shot it is too. Into the top left hand corner. There was a defender there, but the juggle between the defender and the wall. Let's see. It was Aaron who gets a touch to the ball, but it is 1-0 in favor of the All-Stars. And this is a position they are comfortable playing from. They've been here before in the series, 1-0, and they are leading against Sequential. Yeah, Sequential Gaming are certainly the guys uh, that will, uh, look, if anyone's gonna come back from this, we've seen them do it. But All-Stars are, as we've said, they are playing the game or the series of their lives at the moment, of their Rocket League careers. and this. It'd be something where, you know, other teams would probably be looking at, as I say that, Orion, that is one, I, I, I would honestly say he's probably one, one of the best three aerial, has one of the best three aerial controls in uh, the uh, in the country, in the region crisis, and now he's putting those skills on display for us this evening. One all, all stars, it, it faded so quickly, and now they have to be careful because Orion on the attack once again. Yeah, he picks up the ball off the center and dribbles it through into the orange zone. It's disrupted there, but Soma is there to keep the pressure on. Uh, no follow-up, though, and Jules uh, gets the carrier through. He's dribbled past one defender, doesn't make it past the second. Orion is there to get the pinch against the wall. It's back into the orange zone. Groovy Grape, we need a captain's innings from you, mate, as uh, he touches the ball. It's sitting uh, dangerously near to the box, but the clear is there. Jules comes through, gets a touch to it. Gets another touch, gets the rebound, the follow through is not there. Groovy Grape was falling back already. It's one all in the series. No donuts for anybody tonight. And that's dangerous. Oh, from long range, Neba. Uh, the rebound is there though, but cleared out with the halo by All Stars Flip. Flip with probably the save of the series so far there. He had to launch himself back, tilt that car nearly 180 degrees on the horizontal to even get to that ball, and he saved himself what what would have been a sequential leading goal. As I say that now, Groovy Grape setting up on the right-hand side, follows that ball in the air, but Soma goes face-to-face. -face. Good aerial contest there. Jules has to be careful, and the rebound from Jules has gifted Orion the goal, and he knows it too. The swear coming out in chat. He knows that that was not the right thing to do, and Orion just cleans up the scraps and give, is gifted an easy goal, giving SQL the win, uh, not the win, the lead, I should say, here, and with about half half to play here in game number four, SQL in front, two goals to one. Yeah, very good setup for them right now. The ball's sitting up in the blue zone just for a little bit, but they're gonna get it cleared out. Jules is there to contest for it. A good rebound, this is dangerous. Groovy Grape, oh, he backs out. He turns around to go and get his defensive set up and it's too late even then. Oh, it was, I don't know what he was doing there. You can see him, he gets himself a little bit uh, at sixes and sevens and the combined effort there from Simon Orion putting a goal number three in the back of the net for Sequential. They were 2-0 down in the series. They've clawed one back and now in game at number four, it's 3-1 in their favor.
Oh, wow. And that was a great goal. Soma to Orion with the pop. Back to Soma. And Orion is putting the nails in the coffin. He has got himself oh. a hat trick. Three goals to Orion. And he is making a case. Nutter, uh, Nutter is on Twitter, he said, you know, could we call an Orion MVP? And he's certainly making a case for it at the moment. He's been one of the most consistent. Aaron, the defensive unit, and Soma, Mr. Consistent as well. But uh, Orion, yeah, he has been, uh, well, he's come out to play. And uh, he wants to make sure that, uh, you know, SQL doesn't start losing just because he's joined that side, I have to say. And with uh, a minute and 40 seconds remaining, All-Stars are showing very, very good play. Um, but the crisis, as we've seen, sequential, this is the play we expect from them. And this is the challenge that All-Stars are going to have to overcome if they want to win game number five. Because now that sequential have found their footing here in this series, do not expect them to stop doing it anytime soon. Oh, Ryan tries to get another one in. It was so close as they control the ball. Aaron's still there. It's Aaron and Soma this time versus the defenders. And Aaron does the business. He gets up into the air. He controls the ball down. Had to do a quick little clever dodge. And oh, Jules will be kicking himself. Another deflection uh, into the back of the net. 5-1 in favor of Sequential Gaming. And the Giant has certainly awoken from its sleep. He's running around, feeing, fying, foeing, and fumming and scoring the goals, Neba, to get themselves with an emphatic Emphatic lead in game number four. Yep, and uh, sequential gaming. When they came, like when they've come out to play, they've come out hard. And uh, look, as you can see, Crisis, they have absolutely come out swinging here in game number three. They uh, won five goals to nothing, and now they've only allowed one extra goal. It was the first goal to flip, but sequential then have scored five in a row, and they are not stepping off the pedal at all. They want to keep this momentum going into the fifth and final game of this series. Groovy Grape will demo Soma on his defensive line, but Orion is there to come and uh, follow up. Here comes Aaron. The cheeky tail tap will allow his team to get into a position. Uh, Orion, very great defensive cover there, and Aaron once again comes around. Ten seconds remaining, and this will be game number four, and it will lock the series at three games to two in uh, sorry two games all sorry in favor of sequential and all stars we are going to the fifth match here crisis and uh this is one is going to be sorted and this is the second series of the night uh, we should mention as well where they are actually going to uh that uh to the fifth game because they need to sort it out. And, uh, yeah, I this... mean, uh, people might be a little bit confused as to why uh, it's going to be a five-game <laughs> series no matter what. But th there's no confusion right now. Two and two, neck on neck, sequential gaming against All-Stars. They've had to go all the way to the fifth game <laughs> to get a decision for tonight's match. And that uh, goal deficit uh, or that goal advantage for and against that the boys from All Stars had built up in that uh, second, uh, first two games, well and truly gone, Neba, with Sequential coming back, uh, powering through uh, games number three and four. Yep, and uh, look, All Stars here now putting the pressure on. They are trying to regain or find some of that form they had in games number one and two, but they've got to be very careful because Orion is probably is uh, lurking in the midfield here uh, and trying to push his side um, up into their attacking side on that orange side of the field. Aaron now comes out of goal. He's going to follow up with Soma. They can't get the ball, unfortunately. And that is just going to be sitting around in the midfield area. Orion kicking it onto the right-hand side. Now will go up the wall. No, he won't, actually. He lets it bounce into the middle. And Groovy Grape is going to be under it. Soma, though, from the goal line, comes across. Flip there. will bounce it back. Let the foursomes back start they say orion's long range shot bounces off to the left of goal face aaron follows it in looking for some kind of uh, goal opportunity orion back flipping that ball in across the face of goal will allow flip to push it into the blue half once again no one really had an offensive shot at the moment is bouncing a bit too high the aerial game too strong with these sides at the moment Flip will have to come back around, hits it off the right-hand side of the wall, down into the goal, goes up, but Orion too good with that aerial, and drops it down. Crisis, these two sides with three oh. minutes and 35 seconds are locked in this battle of this uh, area control. 
and uh, who's going to come off on the better of it? Well, they will probably score the first goal of this uh, of this match. Oh, that's a big call, mate. Well, we'll see what happens right now. It's like the All Stars uh, themselves have woken up after letting their opponents into the game uh, to claw back the series and even it up. Three minutes almost remaining, so that's two minutes of goalless play. Oh! And Flip breaks the deadlock, gets the donut off the board. He sends it up into the air, it scrapes the roof. Soma with a defensive touch and Flip with great anticipation puts it into the back, opens the scoring in game number five for the boys of the All Stars team. They, are, well, they are now going to have to just defend for their lives. That's it, you know Groovy they say, Great. Oh, what a good defense is the best offense, Crisis. And Groovy Great has taken the opportunity and he's taken the long range shot. Oh, and has scored a cracker of a goal and has put All Stars in the best position they've been in all night for taking this series. Goodness me, three minutes of play remaining and Sequential will now have to dig deep to break this deficit, come back into the game and uh, get themselves or, or maintain their undefeated run in the Cyber Game of Premier League. The ball sitting around in the corner on the orange zone. A little touch there by Groovy Grape might be dangerous. The aerial joust though, won by the boys of the All-Stars. It's sitting in the midfield now, not too dangerous. And in fact, Groovy Grape now getting the ball, gets a touch to it, looks for the cross, oh. sets it up. Oh, he almost puts it in himself. Rather than setting the cross, he nearly floated it into the net himself, Lieber. Yes, he did, but uh, Groovy Grape was there. Jules with a great little save. Pushes it back into the SQL defensive half. All Stars looking dangerous right now. Looking like they uh, they are looking like they really want to close this one out, but they are not rushing it. That has to be said. They are taking their opportunities. They have to be careful though, because one mistake and SQL will capitalize. They have the buffer, but that buffer can be evaporated at the drop of a hat. So they have to be very careful right now. One minute and 50 seconds is all that is remaining in regulation of this series. Will SQL be able to come back or will the boys from All Stars cause one of the upsets of the CGPL? You would have to think that All Stars will be feeling the pressure now. But the question is, can they overcome this challenge? This is be the first real test for the All Stars. The ex Lost Luna boys, the All Stars org will be absolutely cheering them on right now. There's a great Ooh. defensive save from Flip. Gets it off to the right-hand side of the board. Soma there, and Flip bounces that one off the wall, trying to get his team in some kind of position. Tries to push it off the right-hand once again and let the uh, area control battle start. Groovy Grape off the side wall, pushes it back in front. Soma is not there, but will miss the uh, will miss the tap. With one minute to go, Crisis All-Stars looking good. Sequential looking threatening, though, and they, are, look, they will start getting into some desperate plays in a second, you can imagine, as we go under a minute. Oh, 45 seconds remaining. It is a 2-0 situation, and they're attacking the goal face again. Jules flying past there, pirouetting in the air. Doesn't get a touch to the ball, but it's sitting in this blue zone still. It's almost as though Sequential won to keep defending. Finally, they get it out. We're sitting with Orion at the moment. Goal scorer extraordinaire. He gets oh, up in into the air. He's looking for the touch, and it's good. Oh. And with 25 seconds to go, they have blown the whistle for the comeback train to get going. Woo -woo! Is the train going to be leaving the station? That is the question. 25 seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time, but it is an eternity when you are up by one goal and you are trying to defend in Rocket League. So, SQL now. They are going to be going all guns blazing. There will be nothing left in the tank. Jules will be having a great, he's had a great second game at the moment. Groovy Grape. Flip will get up there and push that ball away. Aaron puts the ball back in front of goal. Oh, oh Jules has got no boost. Oh, oh. oh, across the face of goal. He has been gifted a reprieve. That ball still not hit the floor. GG. There it is. That is the upset. All Stars take out week number two versus Sequential Gaming. They have taken it three games to two. Two.